Have you ever been to a ball game and you see that one individual who stands out? They are crazy, right? They've got their Woo! face painted. They got the big foam finger, maybe a cowbell. They're yelling, they're screaming, they're trying to get everyone else involved. And you look at that individual in one or two ways. Either you look at them as they are a super fan, right? Oh, they love their team. They're trying to get everybody else engaged and they are there to get the crowd pumped up. Or you look at that individual and you say, they are an absolute lunatic. <laughs> that person is crazy. Well, today we're going to talk about what something that the Apostle Paul said we should be crazy for. And he said we should be crazy for Christ. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Shauna and this is Pete. And we are Gallia Family Discipleship. And every day we invite you into our home and we ask you to study the Bible with us. Uh, we are licensed ministers with the Church of God and we love Jesus. Um, so we hope that the way that we disciple our family is something that will encourage you and help you to disciple yours for Christ. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 12 through 15. Um, I have Jeremiah's Bible here, so I'm going to read those scriptures out of his Bible it's a children's today. children's Bible. Right. And it says, We are not commending ourselves to you again, uh, but giving you an opportunity to be proud of us, so that you may have a reply for those who take pride in the outward appearance rather than in the heart. For if we are out of our mind, it is for God. If we have a sound mind, it is for you. <coughs> for Christ's love compels us. Since we have reached this conclusion, if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all so that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for the one who died for them and was raised. So the Apostle Paul had this problem where he went to places and individuals and they looked at him as if he literally had lost his mind mm -hmm. because he, uh, he was consumed with the gospel message of Jesus Christ. There was even an encounter in the book of Acts where he was, uh, went before a governor and he said, much learning has made you mad, right? You've learned too much. You've went crazy. You've got too much stuff in your head. It's going on. But what the Apostle Paul was trying to say, hey, if I'm crazy, then I'm crazy for Christ. That's where I've lost it at because I'm going out of my way to make sure that people know who Jesus Christ is and a way to escape the judgment to come. That's right. I love the scripture that says it is the love of Christ that compels us. Um, I believe that everything that we do mm -hmm. should be backed by the love of God. Um, if we tell the truth, it should be the truth in love. If we serve, it should be serving with love. If we speak, it should be with love. Um, and that sometimes can um, make us look crazy uh, because I believe that sometimes the love of Christ um, is so overwhelming with grace that people see us as different. And that's what drove the Apostle Paul was love for other individuals. Uh, he had salvation, right? Yeah. He could have easily sat back and said, I'm taken care of. I'm going to heaven. I will be in eternity. The dude was even caught up into heaven. He knows what it looks like. He knows what it was going to be That's like. Right. He could have got comfortable and said, I'm going. Yep. But he loved everyone around him so much that he made it his mission to tell them about Jesus Christ because the, he wanted them to be partakers of the blessing as well. That's right. Um, we have to understand that the closer we get to Christ, the, the more that we uh, start to serve him and put away things of this world, people are going to call us crazy. We become more vocal for him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when people find that you've set aside something that they think is normal or acceptable, mm -hmm. um, and you've set it, set it aside because it... Um, could hinder your walk with Christ. Or maybe you set it aside um, because you want to just take that time that you took with with that hobby or with that show and you want to make sure that it's focused on Christ, that you can learn more and that you can serve him more. Right, and that happens when you choose to separate yourself. The world's going to say, why don't you partake in the things we partake in? Yeah, why Oh, that's just that stupid you don't do that. Yeah. Right? You're crazy, crazy for not doing that. Radical. Oh, this is harmless. You're crazy, right? And and you, and you get that. And the Apostle Paul dealt with that everywhere he went because individuals didn't understand his passion, didn't understand his love, didn't understand this message that he wanted everyone to get a hold of. And that was that they didn't have to pay for their own sins. 
They could escape the wrath to come, but it was only through Jesus Christ. You know, there are sometimes, uh, especially when you're in school, there are clubs to be a part of, and, and you have to have qualifications, mm -hmm. and you have to make this GPA, or you have to uh, be able to do this in order to make a sports team, or there's qualifications, right? And not everybody will be included in those clubs. Not everybody will be included in on those teams, and um, that can bring us a lot of sorrow. Uh, but the good thing is, is that the Apostle Paul is reminding us that Christ died. He died for all. He knows the importance of making sure that everybody knows that Jesus died for them. Everyone knows that he came for them. That everyone knows that this is not a exclusive club, but this is an all-inclusive salvation. Right. Growing up playing sports my whole life, what Sean is talking about is, you know, when you're little, everybody makes a team. Yeah. You get into junior high and high school, there's, start, there's limits on who can be on Trials. the team. Trials. Right. They, you, they only cut and keep the best. Mm -hmm. But what she's saying is God doesn't have that limit. It's endless. He, it's open to us all, and he wants us all to partake in it. Right. So today we want to challenge you. Uh, if, if you're going to be crazy for something, be crazy for Jesus Christ. Yes. Right? We all have passions, uh, sports, uh, hobbies, whatever it might be. Hey, put, just, put more into Jesus than you do anything else. Absolutely. Be crazy for him. Go out of the way to when this world sees you, they say that individual loves Jesus. That is a child of God. Mm -hmm. and, and be like the Apostle Paul and stand out for Jesus. Right. If you love your family, let it be Christ's love that compels you to love them. If you uh, go to work, let it be Christ's love that compels you to be who you are at work. Um, no matter where you go, don't leave it at home. Don't leave it in a closet. Don't leave it somewhere. Make sure that Christ's love compels you with all the things that you do. Um, so we want to make sure that you are reminded to live intentionally for Christ, to get up every day, to encounter God, to exalt God, to edify yourself with the reading of the word, and to engage this world. Let it be Christ's love right. that compels you. And like Shauna said, uh, we just want to, we do this in our home on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. We study the word of God together. We discuss it. And we try to do those four things because we believe if you do those four things, if you encounter, if you exalt, if you edify and you engage, then you're a disciple of Jesus Christ. It's drawing you nearer to him. And we want you closer to Jesus. Absolutely. But until next time, God, God bless. bless you.